Welcome back, brawlers and Baku Crew members. Baku Brad 96 here with another Bakugan Evolutions unboxing. Thank you all for tuning in to today's video because today I'm going to be reviewing Aquas Blitz Fox. That's right, it is another member of the ever going Fox Squad. For those of you who don't know, the Fox Squad was made by Nightcore by Design and it is a collection of the Blitz Fox and Finica toy line. We are both trying to get them all or as much as we can so that's where that comes from but uh, yeah not much to say I'm gonna go ahead and get straight into it because I don't want to take up too much of your time. I am working on making my reviews a little quicker that way they're not so boring drawn out and just me talking. There's the Aqua Splits Fox. While I'm getting out the character cards and Baku cores, I do want to let you all know right quick that as of recording, only like 22% of you watching are subscribed, which means 72% of you watching have yet to subscribe to my channel. And I mean, you're already watching, so why not go ahead and click that red button for me? It definitely helps the channel out and it shows me what you all like as well as supports me, so thank you for that. But moving straight along though, here is the gate card included. Now once again, this is a gate card that I just reviewed earlier, so I won't go into too much detail on it. Like I literally just showed off this gate card in my last unboxing video. Um, I don't know the, the order of which I um, will upload them quite yet, but uh, yeah, this was uh, in the double unboxing video I just did with the uh, power-up packs for Ventus Griswing and uh, Warrior Well. Yeah. And then here is the checklist. It It's not new. The same one. Uh, Spin Master isn't changing the checklist like they did the previous years. Now then, going straight into the stats for Aqua Splits Fox. It is a double helix core Bakugan again, so potentially a replacement for the Heos Finica, or sorry, the Aquas Finica Ultra, but not quite sure yet. B power of 100 with 7 damage, a very low B power there, but there is a plus side because if it lands on a helix core, it gets plus 1000 B power and minus 6 damage. So unfortunately you do lose all of the damage that this Bakugan does have, but plus 1000 B power is really nice. And thinking about Helix Core, you know, just the plus 500 minus one, you could go zero damage and then have 1600 B power. Um, you know, there are definitely scenarios where this could work, um, especially alongside Nanogon like Aqua Sludgeum. It lets you add a Baku Core when you land on a Helix, so you could potentially get even more B power onto Blitz Fox. And just look at the artwork. That is probably one of my favorite artworks of Blitz Fox. And it happens to be the Aquas form, so very nice. Outside of the B power line, you could play this in a damage deck. I'm not sure how well Aquas strategies do with damage decks, but. I mean, at 7 damage, that is very nice. And you can't really ignore it either. Very interesting. Double Helix on Aquas. I actually haven't seen that since Aquas Finica Ultra. So that's, uh, that's ironic. The Helix Core included plus 300 B power and plus 3 damage. The second one plus 500 B power and minus one damage. So in this set, really honestly good Baku core, you know, both of those are really good. Um, probably the only other one that would be good would be the 600 minus three, but even then that one's iffy. So here is the Aquas Blitz Fox, close up. As you can see, it has the painted details there. The orange on the ears, the orange on the claws, and the little yellow eyes. Very good paint detailing. To close it up, you just put the front feet in, head down, slide the bit body in, side tails, and then the top tail. 
Or it should have been the top first and then this side, but I was a little off. There is the Aqua Splits Fox all closed up. Very nice. Now I know a few of the Blitz Fox double core and then a few don't. So I will go ahead and check that out for you all to see if it will do that. And what do you know, Aqua Splits Fox will double core. A little bit of a weak magnet, but as you all saw in that first pickup, Blitz Fox will pick it up, but it, you know, it's situational, you have to be easy. The Blitz Fox do have weak magnets, but I have seen them double core before. But uh, yeah, so that's it for the review. Not much, just want to keep it quick. It was a short one. Here is the character card again. Very interesting stat line. Let me all know, let me know in the comments down below what you all think about Aqua Splits Fox. Do you plan to use it on a team? Will you deck build with it? Is it worth using on a Helix team? Possibly with Arliss Leonidas? I will let you all decide that one. Or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll build the deck in the future. I'm not sure yet. But until then, thank you all so much for the continued support. I know that we have reached past 600 and that is just tremendous. You know, keep it going. I will keep up the content. Y'all will keep up the support. And maybe I'll hit a thousand. I don't know. That is the dream. You have all helped me so far. And I just, I couldn't appreciate it any more than I do now. So stay safe, drum up, and until next time, Bakugan Brawl.